Today we're commemorating a monk in Bangkok. You all call him Lung Lung, Venerable Uncle. He was a student of John Fuang, who was very kind to me. He was the person who shaved my head when I, when I first ordained. He looked after us here at the monastery for many, many years. Now he's passed away, so we can't help but think of him. And the tradition of Buddhism is when someone has passed away that you make merit. The word merit here sounds kind of like brownie points, but that's not what it really means. It means that you do something good, and then you think of the happiness that comes from doing something good, like being generous or observing the precepts or meditating. And you, you dedicate that to other people, hoping that they will find the same happiness as well. So even though we can't send, we can't wrap up all the goodness we're doing here and send it by the post office. We can send it in the current of the mind, because it's through the currents of the mind that we touch one another, regardless of where we are. So you're trying to make your mind, put your mind in good shape. Think of all the good you've done. Think of the good you're doing right now as you're trying to get your mind under control. And then, then you dedicate it to the people for whom you have gratitude, the people who showed you the way to be good, that showed you the way to true happiness. And this is how we keep this path to happiness alive. It's through our gratitude to those who have shown it. And then we make that our gift to the next generation on. At the same time, when there's a funeral like this, it's a time for a reflection. Because after all, it's not just monks in Bangkok who die, not just old people who die. Everybody dies at one point or another. And the question is, you don't know when your death is going to come and how prepared you're going to be. Which means that you've got to prepare yourself right now. Prepare the state of your mind, because dying is like being evacuated suddenly without any chance to pack your bags and get your things in order. All you take with you is your skill set. So you try to develop the skills of the mind, a sense of conviction and the importance of your actions, the importance of the state of your mind, virtue, the intention not to harm anyone, a sense of shame and compunction, in other words, just the idea of doing something harmful, you realize is beneath you. You'd be ashamed to do it. And you really are concerned. You're not apathetic about the results of your actions. A willingness to learn, generosity, and discernment. These are the skills that you want to make as part of your skill set. Because if you don't have these as your skill set, you have the opposite, a lack of skill. You don't want to have to go someplace and set yourself up again without having good skills. So try to develop as many skills of the mind as you can, because these are the things you really can take with you. And when you think about this, okay, you want to be heedful, because every day May be your last day, as the Buddha said. You, when you see the sunrise in the morning, you remind yourself, this could be the last sunrise you see. Are you ready to go? If not, try to develop the qualities of my mind that will hold you in good stead. The same way when the sun sets. This may be your last sunset. Are you ready to go? Well, if not, work as you can to develop those good qualities of mind. That way you don't waste the time of your life. When the time does come to go, there won't be any regrets. So in this way, they, in the textbook in Thailand, they say that Funerals are inauspicious occasions. Well, actually, it's auspicious when you develop heedfulness, as the Buddha once said, Apamadajatam mesu etamang galamutamang. Being heedful in regard to all mental qualities, that's a high blessing. It's a, a good omen. To so be heedful about the qualities of your mind. I take this as an opportunity to accelerate your efforts in developing those qualities so they're good and strong.